just a small introduction about myself. I am Archika. I am a psych counseling psychologist, a guidance counselor. Uh, I am an internationally certified mindfulness meditation practitioner, an NLP coach, and a life coach. Uh, today we have Chitra Ji with us. Uh, Chitra Ji is actually a yoga therapist. Uh, she is here today to speak on yoga for mental health. She will be telling about the importance of yoga in mental health. And uh, if we talk about her, she is actually a family counselor as well. She is a certified career guidance and she is a posh practitioner. She is a corporate trainer. Uh, she is a leadership and life transformation coach and she has handled uh, cases related to physical and mental health and treated her patients using yoga. So yoga is very effective for keeping our mind and our mental health intact. Uh, it's We always talk about physical health, that yoga helps in our physical ailments or it keeps our physical health intact. But yoga, it's scientifically proven that yoga has helped a lot in keeping our mental health uh, intact. Fine. So, Chitra ji, you can uh, start. Hi, Achika ji. Hi, hello. All. Hi, Suchita. Hi, Tanya. Good evening. So, it's a wonderful evening uh, to you all and uh, share my uh, on the practices in our home and uh, other uh, simple exercises help overcome and to rectify because of better. Right. So there are different types uh, of uh, yoga. I mean, uh, the mental illnesses. Like you know, we, we can say uh, like you know we have some disorders like depression, bipolar disorder, some kind of anxieties, or personality disorders, schizophrenia disorders, stress, anger, uh, traumatic you know post traumatic. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, lot of illnesses, right? Mental disorders. Uh, people are uh, going through their life, you know. So I uh, could see basically the people, right? They used to take on one first thing. They just do um, the basic things that they can work within themselves to overcome type of illness. So anything can be that can be worked with an art that gives a more better result than one first type of medication which is called a side effect. Right. So this is mental illness. No, we we see a lot of illness, mental disorders like mood disorders, just depression, anxiety, uh, stress disorders, uh, personality disorders, uh, then uh, schizophrenia, eating eating problems, eating disorders, trauma uh, related issue, and kind of a stress problem, substance abuse. Lot of you know you know even a porn addiction. I could say the mental illness one. So you know people right they just know. Um, just when they come to know about this type of fitness, they are not able to overcome these things. So first thing they will uh, take the step of just moving on to the medication. They just on to the doctor and take up medication. Just got a lot of side effects, you know. I know if we take some medication for something, right, that definitely has an impact on in, in a different way. It affects our nervous system. It affects our entire immune system. A lot of uh, things will happen. So no, maybe we can try in a very simple way, basic thing without any kind of risk, without very simple, uh, cost effective, you know, only the time alone we have to spend it across, work on it. Uh, as uh, I can say, you know, my personal post, I've been doing 17 to 18 years. I had so many issues back 17 years, I had so many uh, health, health issues. I had a severe kidney stone and I had a very weak immune system, very less. Uh, yeah. I mean, my blood level was not up the uh, the right uh, level which uh, women should have, you know. So I was taking med medicines before that. Once I started uh, to yoga, it made a tremendous improvement in my health. And, you know, Simple, very simple exercises which gives us amazing results for us. For example, no, uh, simple. A person, people are so busy. I, I perfectly understand that. You know, they are all just running behind things. You know, they are tightly packed and scheduled. So some people know they may have um, an hour time to work on with the exercises. 
you know, they will have half an hour. Some people will just get 10 minutes only. 10 to 15 minutes a day, right? It makes a remarkable difference. In That's my personal opinion. Even I worked on different types of schedules and it has given me a lot of positive results, right? The first thing, no person who does not have much of time, right? They can just spend 10 minutes, 10 minutes in the morning, 10 minutes in the evening. Before uh, telling this, right? Before starting with this yoga, uh, I feel as a personal experience, right? Start with yoga. The morning, no, the, the early morning time, right? Before the sunrise would be the ideal time for us. 30 or 5 o'clock. Simple exercise, only one exercise that really has a great impact in your entire immune system, entire body, your nervous system, everything, your back, everything. So one thing is that Padmasana, which is the prime uh, asana of the yoga. It is also called as a lotus. It, it is a tremendous uh, asana. It, it, it is just like you know, sitting, it's like sitting cross legged. It has got a lot. Beautiful benefits. It, it, is, it creates a good vibration around the women, actually, right? So my personal thing, you know, any any women, uh, I mean, there are a lot of things done under the sexual abuse, harassment, so many things a woman is. What I right, I when a per, women in the yoga posture, I mean, this asana yoga, the, the lotus yoga posture for thirty minutes, a particular consistent basis, she could able to develop her aura, a positive aura around her. No, 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 nothing can, nothing, any any kind of harm, right? It would not affect her, actually. I felt that. it uh, Padmasana, right, it helps for the blood flow, blood flow in the legs. This is all type of a back pain. It helps focus on certain things. So concentration is very, very important. It also opens up your hip. Because women, right, they always, right, when they get married, they uh, they do a lot of uh, um, uh, things that deliver the The hip, hip muscles get weakened, right? So in such cases, right, it, it opens up the hip muscles, it stretches the ankles and the knee, calms your brain, soothes you, increases your awareness. More, uh, but sometimes so you tend to forget things, right? But when you do asana, right, it just makes it beautiful that you Increases awareness and attentiveness. Always be mindful. It always helps you. No, the posture itself, no, just straight, and you have to do this lotus. So it helps you, uh, correct your spine, right? It makes your spine uh, very. Raji, uh, yes. I am so sorry to interrupt. Uh, actually, yeah, sure. voice is breaking. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, Ji. Is it okay right now? Right now, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. okay. Between, oh, yeah. okay okay but okay fine you are so informative whatever you are saying you don't want to miss anything right? yeah i understand i understand no you can just interrupt me uh, ashikaji no issues i can just uh, i just go with that uh, whatever you say right oh you are it, yeah now it's now is it good right oh, okay but perfect so it increases awareness and the attentiveness now people know we have to be really alert and aware you no know, around our surroundings what's happening around us now this but just really it makes you, you know, a very proactive person. It keeps your spine straight. It also helps for a good posture, making good structure for the women, for everyone actually. And it also eases your menstrual discomfort. We get a lot of cramps and pains, discomforts during the menstruation. It, it works amazingly during your menstrual discomforts. It helps strengthen your joints and ligaments very, very flexibly. And uh, I mean, uh, people who are really uh, very comfortable in doing this lotus pose can go this lotus pose. Otherwise, no, there is an alternative for this, which is called as a Vajrasana, right? We have to just um, hold our legs and we have to, um, I mean, we need not cross our legs. We just hold our, um, uh, um, instead of crossing the legs, we'll just have to um, bend our legs and sit, uh, sit in a Vajrasana pose. Even that post, right, it has got the same benefits as such as it, it just keeps your uh, mind very calm, stable. It cures a digestive. I mean, a lot of acidity and gas formation will happen in, inside your body after your uh, food intake, right? It, it instantly, you know, it just removes the unnecessary gas and it helps you to maintain a balance in your body. It also helps to relieve pain. You are having some knee pain, right, as 
the age related problems they will definitely they are all the because of the gas when the gas is relieving all the gas will get accumulated in the knee actually mm. when these gases accumulation of gases bro broken you know it's been released you no know, obviously you know it will relieve the knee pain you have very you can walk comfortably it also strengthens your thigh muscles it helps you uh, relieve your back pain hip pain it strengthens your sex, sexual organs in treatment i mean your urinary tract infections urinary problems i know it has got amazing these two are the king and queen of the uh, the yoga that's what i can say people who does not have any time so i can i can just spend 10 minutes or 15 minutes now they can easily go with these exercises in the morning the evening or the night for going to bed they can have very peaceful peaceful sleep and as they do it on a consistent basis they can see one day we cannot definitely we cannot uh, see a, a drastic result no uh, people no no something has to go on a consistent basis in a step by step way see the proper results so people can uh, try it maybe if uh, uh, if you want an a uh, practical way of uh, doing it i can definitely help you yeah thank you so much yeah definitely Yes. Yes. So these names we'll search these names and these will help. And for like practicals, we because it's just a talk and we cannot do the practical right yes. now. So yes. yes, we'll definitely have a practical session as well. Uh, what are the various uh, yoga asans which yes. help us uh in curing our physical ailments as well as help us in uh keeping our mental health intact. now uh, actually chitra ji i just want to know is there any yoga asans or poses which helps us reduce stress anxiety we all have daily stress we all nobody is actually uh, uh, got spared from uh, stress so uh, is there any yoga asan or something which helps us in reducing stress anxiety or depressive moods yeah definitely definitely ashika ji we have different asanas like uh, sarpasana which is called as snake right sarpasana salabasana and you know um, uh, vajra mudra uh, you know uh, salab uh, salabasana lot, lot of other i don't know um, uh, the, the upside down right uh, sarasana so sarvangasana all these asanas are there that really helps us uh, with the great impact and it really helps us to overcome the stress and anxiety and kind of any type of depression in our life so there are ways that we can do this sarpasana sarpasana right it is like a snake actually you know you are um, um uh, i mean placing the uh, um mat you no know, we have to uh, lie down and you know it helps to strengthen your organs abdomen it, it gives a massage to your abdomen it strengthens your chest and shoulders so no other exercise no expand your lungs and uh, and your uh, organs which is uh, around the heart this one is an amazing asana that, you know that relieves all your stress and you know it gives you real relaxation i mean it, it also uh, strengthens your your lungs and heart muscles and it, it helps us to balance the heartbeat also so people who are really having a very high anxiety and depression very balanced heartbeat actually so this sarpasana right it it does it strengthens your um, Uh, heartbeat and you know it help us to uh, stabilize and have a balanced heartbeat it also increases the the appetite and you know uh, it also helps to cause the uh, the indigestion diabetic problem acidity problems other type of problems uh, i mean other than that right it it also strengthens your back muscles it, uh, it also alleviates your constipation it's, it's really helpful for the uh, because you know we all do something for external things right so externally right when our hands are paining we will do like this when 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 our necks are paining we will do like this no what work on for inside our body like you know lung the heart you know so these are this one of the exercises of sarpasana an amazing result for the internal organs the stomach intestine teeth and you know for something the diabetic right the i mean the the proper stimulation of the heart everything will happen with sarpasana the whole entire thing right and there are i mean this is a way right way right like if you want to say the sarpasana you have to lie on your stomach with your legs straight and together right and you keep your chin on the ground mm. keep your chin on the ground you have to with your straight arms you have to have then you have to hands together 
behind your back. Just like that, no? Like behind mm -hmm. your back. It's too difficult, no? You can keep your hands on the ground itself. Some people know they may not be that flexible. But as they do it over time, right, they may find it very difficult. Yes? So you have to keep your hands on your ground underneath and the shoulders. As you breathe, you just, uh, you, I mean, your chest and your, you have to raise your arms. Keep your hands on the ground. I mean, uh, it may be comfortable for some people, but you know, uh, it just don't use your arms and to strengthen to lift you. Some Because you know, some may find it very difficult, but as you practice, it become easy. Instead, you can use back strength and uh, you can stretch yourself and you hold on for a few breaths until no one, two, three, four, five. Slowly, you can increase to 15 or 20, not more than that. So that should be a right thing. And exhale as you slowly bring down your chest and arms back. Okay. That's the way you uh, do the sarpasana. It's, it's amazing exercise. And, you know, um, it also it's, it, it, uh, it, it's also stimulates for your eye, actually. When you stretch like this your back and you just put your eyes up, right? When you rotate your eyes um, in a different direction, no? there is a lot of uh, blood circulation that goes through your eyes also. Okay. That identify your eye problems. Also. Yes. It's a multiple uh, um, benefit, uh, I can say this. Yes. Not only mental health or not only yes. the physical health, actually every part of our body is moving whenever we are doing any asana. Yes. Certain, there are certain uh, restrictions or contradictions uh, for this asana. People who are um, high, having high blood pressure, having a peptic ulcer, some kind of a tube process or you know, heart conditions, very low pregnancy uh, time. Uh, I mean, it's not advisable for them to do this asana. So they just they can just go with uh, the normal uh, padmasana, vajrasana, vajramutra. Okay, that so should be it be done under some supervision. You yes, this should yes. be done under supervision. Under under some supervision, yes. Okay. Unless we don't have any kind of a discomfort, we can just do that because you know I what I can say right. You know, um, uh, I had I had two kids. My elder one is my daughter, and my younger one is my son. So when uh, when I was starting, right. Uh, started my yoga, I, I was so afraid having a baby in my tummy, I, I can't be upside down, whether it will affect my baby, I was so scared, I was just uh, only the Padma. When it comes uh, to my second, right? So I used to try in for, uh, I tried entire stuff when I was carrying my son, my second. I completely used to have upside down for 10 minutes. It has got a tremendous and I, I was so relaxed with my delivery. I can assure you that. Okay. Fine. So, are there any side effects also of yoga? Any side effects of any asana or something? Yeah, definitely. Definitely, we have uh, certain side effects which has to be taken care of. Uh, like, you know, people who are really not uh, uh, Your voice is breaking again. And is it audible right, right now, Ashika? Is it right now? No, it's okay. Yes, okay. Well, people have any kind of uh, um, surgery going or, you know, some kind of other complication, right? And then in such case, right, you have to get uh, your support. Your voice is breaking, Chitra ji. Um, Not audible? <laughs> okay, just a minute, Ashika ji. Just let me, you know. Can I... It's perfectly fine. <laughs> it's perfectly. I think, no, maybe some kind of a disturbance. Yeah. Is, it audible, is it audible right now? Yes, yes. Yeah. yes. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So actually, you were telling about the side effects of yoga, if any. Uh, yes, you know, if you're not uh, doing it without any the without any right supervision of the people, right? Or you know, if you have undergone any kind of a surgery or some kind of, uh, um, um, I mean, uh, some kind of issues, right? Uh, where you've been advised not to uh, strain or stress yourself more, right? In such case, right, you have to go with the uh, the doctor consultation. Because some people know they will may have some cervical problems and all. No, in such case, no, they, they do the breathing exercise. They don't kind of a, uh, bending exercise. No, they may feel it. Uh, it may aggravate the pain. Actually, it becomes so in such case, right? We have to avoid it, and you have to get the consultation uh, by the doctor, and you have to uh, start practicing. Thank you, thank you so much, Chitraji for telling us because when we start we just forget all about all these precautions to be taken care of before yes. starting yoga and yes if you're doing it for purpose then supervision is very important yes so we can feel it Ashikaji, and uh, no, we can feel how we i mean we
we will definitely know when we do something right when we find a kind of a discomfort right then we can just immediately stop it right and you know maybe we can try to work on it in a different time or in a different way that is uh, okay uh, thank you so much chitra ji for like enlightening us with all these things yes yes that's right there is a question actually is there any simple yoga for kids under 6 years of age yes they can do uh, anyone can do actually not only for kids anyone can do this uh, simple no uh, because you know um, adults know they are uh, they are uh, not that flexible right because as they grow you know, your muscles all becomes with tightening the you no know? for the kids right it will be very flexible very soft so they can do any type of like you know simple asana i told right first the lotus asana they can just to start with, they can do this lotus asana the padmasana vajrasana vajramutra they can do it and uh, surya namaskara they can do it surya namaskara it, it is the got a tremendous effect in their the brain development their focus their concentration the span of attention so it has got a um, amazing effects uh, only the should these three essays you know it makes an amazing results for the kids and along with us we can make you know make the child to sit for 5 to 10 minutes simple breathing exercises just breathe in breathe out right just uh, you have to uh, close your left ear always start with your right okay you have to close your left and you have to inhale through your right and exhale through your left again close your right side nostril inhale through the left and exhale through the right side so this is one um, breathing simple breathing exercise so this one no a kid can do uh, 20 or 25 uh, he or she can do it as it helps them to uh, have a very good blood flow in their body and it gives a complete energy right the kids who are really taking up their exams no they really go down with their energy level right so in such case no it gives it improves oxygen level in your body so it's an amazing uh, thing anyone can do it especially kids no it has get got a very amazing okay that's great so uh, yoga has lot of benefits actually we always uh like substitute it with gym and other exercises but it really has a lot of uh, benefits uh, yes. uh chitra ji uh, is there any uh, yoga or any asana which actually uh, i got this question uh, because yamuna ji asked this question uh, is there any uh, yoga asan which helps kids to calm down because kids sometimes uh, throws tantrums they have many behavior behavioral issues so is there any yoga which helps them to calm and uh, like subside yeah the subsiding uh, the the very balanced yoga is no only uh, the padmasana you make the kid to sit in a padmasana uh, with a chin mudra right uh, this is the chin mudra actually when we sit and we used to keep this position actually this is called the chin mudra mudra is no it is it has got a nerve i mean connection to our brain actually so when we do this your uh, your uh, little finger your uh, ring finger and your uh, middle finger and your thumb and your uh, the pointer right you just close this way and put the padmasana just keep this way and you know it has got a, a beautiful regulation to your mind actually it soothes your mind it calms down it it makes you i mean a person who is really like an animal no it, they'll become just like a you no know, uh, like a floating uh, and deep work. so okay. it makes it so light i should just that by is... doing this and sitting in this way yes just just the uh, padmasana with the, with the lotus asana with the chin mudra this okay. helps us to calm calming right. coming that's great that's great and uh, it will also helps in reducing anger i suppose yes yes to calm, to calm our emotions yes calm our emotions air stress everything no? it really puts us very though we find it very aggressive we want to you know let some people also know uh, we may will become more proactive you know we think for a while are we are we doing something uh, right you know are we doing justice uh, by yelling at them we think for a while and we'll take up a decision that kind of uh, awareness it gives us okay that's great that's great seriously it has a lot of benefits so yes. uh, i just have one more question uh, if a person starts doing yoga uh how much time shall he or she gives to it the uh, beginner yeah. a beginner yeah a beginner can give a minimum uh, 30 minutes time uh, to start with the uh, practice 
31 should be the ideal time to be complete with the exam. That, that's an ideal one actually. Okay. So sh can we start with Surya Namaskar or shall we do some lighter uh, poses first? Uh, we can just start with uh, the, the lotus. Lotus, lotus is the best one actually. So start with the, we can start with the lotus. Lotus Asana is one of the, 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 the basic thing actually to do with the Asanas. As I said, no, it's a king and queen. Of the asana. The first starting point is no with with the Padma. So okay. with so when we are, it makes the entire it controls the entire nerves in our body, right? It controls and it makes the, your body very flexible. First, that is in making yourself ready for making. I mean, to get into other type of exercise. So just do this asana, um, Vajrasana and Padmasana. There is a lotus pose for uh, 15 to 20 days. Make yourself flexible first. Yes. And also regulate your breathing by using the um, uh, breathing session. I told you. Just do this for 15 to 20 days. Then you can start with other set of That should be the ideal one. And then a normal person can do it for 30 minutes. 30 minutes is the ideal time to uh, complete a, a, I mean, a best set of yogas, which is really helps the person to have a, a regulated body, a regulated day uh, for keeping a high energy level. Okay. Right? Okay, thank you so much, Chitraji. So, like, I have one more question actually. I'm just uh, putting a lot of questions. No, uh, are there any other ways to be to get effective results from yoga, uh, which we may might uh, miss while starting it? Uh, are there any effective any uh, like you have told about the timing? If we do it in the morning after sunrise and yes. evening, it uh, gives us uh, effective results. Any yes. other? or any other ways so that we get effective results yeah definitely see i can say rest people some people know will have a very regulated time no they can get up in the morning and you know they can just go with the exercise and they can start their work some people know they find it very difficult to when they get up in the morning you know you feel your body is very tightened and very stiff and you could not be in a position to not be that flexible exercise. Such case, right? You know, it could happen even for me also. Mm -hmm. and so in such case, you know, what I'll do, I just do all my course at home. So probably about around 30 or 9 o'clock in the morning. I'll, I'll, I'll sit. So, you know, as we do some different, you know, your body becomes very, very easy. And, you know, it helps us. To your you know, though it takes a half an hour time also, this, you know, your body becomes very flexible, right? You can just quickly do 15 minutes or max of 20 minutes. Okay. Even that can also be done. And you know, people who does not have time, uh, they can just do it one at least once. Some people know they they start early to work in the evening, right? In the evenings also. People who does not have any time at all, no, they for going to bed also, no, they can just uh, sit. Even in the bed also, they can just lie down. Some people they may have some ailments, they can sit up straight and they can do the exercise. In such case, right? They can just lie down also, they can do the breathing exercises. Have an amazing Okay. So, uh, like people who are having extreme mental problems, mental disorders, uh, can we uh, use yoga with them also? Yes, definitely we can use yoga with them also. But you know, uh, when they go on extreme level, we have to check what type of intensity they have. Mm -hmm. So, based on the intensity, if the person is really not in a controllable position, what they are doing, in such case, right, a person should there along with us, uh, with him or her personally to just check uh, if they are uh, doing it in a right way and you know uh, uh, they are not uh, doing it or you know uh, they are not uh, manipulating it something like that. Mm -hmm. So if the person is really aware, you no, know, okay, fine. I am having some kind of a problem. I am having anxiety and depression. Mm -hmm. So I need to work on. This. If they are within their control, in such case, you no, know, they can just go ahead and they can do it on them. Okay. So it depends upon the intensity. Okay. So thank you so much, Chitraji, for this enlightening session. Uh, because uh, we always uh, uh, take it as uh, something which helps in uh, treating physical illnesses, and it, yes, it also helps in like it simultaneously works for physical health as well as for mental health. It's just a package. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. That's what no. I we will say no. It's a mind body and so plus is the body right body is for the yoga so okay. if you do, you do yoga it's for your body and uh, for the mind you know if you have to do uh, pranayamas and the breathings yes the, uh, and for the soul we do the meditation so 
level first one is the yoga for body when you complete yoga only you can move on to the next level that's a breathing the next level right the pranayama that level when you are really well versed and have a very balanced pranayama breathing control everything no then only you can move to meditation okay it's like a level actually yes. one beautiful that's beautiful Actually, if I share, Chitra ji, when I was uh, like uh, uh, some years ago, I never believed that yoga and meditation would help uh, a lot. Well, it has uh, so many benefits, and it I didn't even like th- thought that I would do yoga and meditation in my life. <laughs> okay. So the importance of yoga and meditation. Earlier, when the word meditation, I used to hear oh, meditation, I would not do. <laughs> Now I am making my people do the meditations and everybody around them. I go also for where we do morning meditation in the morning, but yes. it's really so effective. It and yoga, it's really very effective. Yes. So, uh, thank you so much for enlightening us. Really. Yes. Thank uh, you. Thank you. It was a worthy talk, which yes. needs to be done because these are the things we generally ignore. uh if any one of you has any question regarding uh, this topic so you may ask or if you want to add anything to our knowledge then it would be, we are very like uh, uh, welcoming for this also uh hetal ji kartika ji uh, shiv shankar ji yamuna ji if you have any question vandana ji and sucheta ji if you have any question you can please ask So it breaks even now more than ten inches of a uh, calculus stone in a kidney, right? So I had when during my first pregnancy, I got two uh, kidney stones actually. Two the kidneys, one is ten uh, more than ten inches, and the other one is more than twelve inches. So you know, uh, yes, I mean after doing the exercise, you know, it's completely broken without any medication or something. You know? I mean, everything is sorted out. This exercise, I was That's- really. That's really good. That's really amazing. Yes, ma'am. Which was the exercise you did for your uh, kidney stones? I mean, any basic uh, exercise? Yes, yes. Uh, so, to I have already, oh, I always have a stipulated uh, set of exercises. Uh, a five to six exercise, uh, regular basis. I use actually. So hmm. one is the Padmasana I do. Uh, then the Pajurasana, then Sarpasana, Kalapasana, uh, then uh, the Yoga Mudra, uh, the Uh, the sarvangasana then machasana so these are the five to six exercises maybe i can just put in the chat also for you sure ma'am please ma'am do that i was thinking actually you were saying so fast <laughs> so i could not write all yeah i'll do that i'll do that very helpful uh at one a second chitra ji you are just messaging me directly oh i'm sorry yeah. i i i'll do that everyone yeah it shows me only the the host actually achika ji uh, it it is not showing me to everyone one second i'll just change the setting if it is not set hello oh uh, hello uh, yeah i have a question right can you suggest any yoga pose for uh, thyroid issues hypothyroidism yes 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 definitely the um, um, sarpasana i told right it is for the when you it is for entire for you or uh, thyroid glands actually when you just keep your hands up when you using this uh, sarpasana right it is one of the best uh, asana for your uh, balancing your thyroid hormones so, along okay. with that right yes this is the only thing and along with that it comes with uh, the certain addition or not uh, which can be worked only for this. Uh, shall i uh, even now I, yes now it, it is showing uh, ashika ji Yes, I'll just put it for these kidney stones.
So these are the exercises and for thyroid I can Okay, sir. Pasana and Surya Namaskar are the best asanas for thyroid. Okay. Yes. So oh, no, it 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 does make some miracle actually because not too much of uh, something also no people not be interested they'll just deviate and they just move away. So if they feel it no, oh, yes, this very few minutes right they'll just quickly do it and they'll just uh, uh, they'll find amazing results. That's great. That's so great. So thank you so much again. Uh, do you have any other question? Uh, Chitra ji also provides uh, like personal uh, sessions. Uh, okay. Thank okay, ma'am. Uh, uh, it's a very basic question. I think every woman uh, needs it. Need of an hour. Uh, basic exercise for weight loss is Surya Namaskar enough? Or should we go for some other asanas or any kind of other stretching exercise? Uh, so I can tell um, bow, bow asana, bow asana, right? The bow asana, it, it is dhanurasana that that it has got a very good result with the uh, the weight loss and the surya namaskar and okay. uh, yes and also the uh, the basic uh, the vajrasana, vajrasana it also helps you to flatten uh, the stomach. So Vajra Asana, Surya Namaskar, and uh, one more you told. What was that? Right, Two more asans. Three asans were there, right? Yes. Shall I? Shall I put it? Oh, yeah. Uh, that will be great, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Uh, we are having uh, these Monday sessions, uh, Zoom sessions or live sessions on every Monday. So uh, the topics can be different for every Monday and you would get to know about it later. So do join us and help people to join us so that they can also be benefited. Uh, if you are getting benefited, so please invite other people also to take these sessions. Yes. Thank you, Chitraji, for weight loss. Surya Namaskar, Vajrasana, Tanuras. Okay. That's for the tummy, actually. Okay. Really works for the tummy. So it is very important for me also. <laughs> then for the beginners, uh, you know, flexibility does not come at the very beginning. Yes. So uh, you shared some exercise, like for first 15 days, we should go for those. Yes. And then Ta as soon yes. as we get the flexibility, we should... Continue with other exercises. Yeah, that is the Padmasana and the Lotus pose. Padmasana and the oh. Lotus. Yeah, that is the basic thing that the king and the king and queen of uh, Asana. It okay. it makes your body first uh, get ready for the next set of exercises, right? So okay. if you do this for fifteen or twenty days. It makes your body very flexible. Then warm up is it? Uh, I mean, if we start off suddenly uh, with asans, is it okay or should we go for a real warm up before starting uh, with the exercises? No, not necessary, ma'am. You know, see, I I will make sure that no people will have something. No, the or on a heavy diet in the morning after breakfast. No, in such case, no, you have to give a gap of three to four hours before doing it. Otherwise, if you take some juice or coffee or something, milk or something. Go for yeah. 10 to 15 minutes break. After that, you can just uh, Padmasana. Starting with Padmasana, it's it's more happy and nothing nothing to be worked on. It does not have any side effects. Break for having breakfast. I mean, uh, say 11 o'clock or 11:30. Uh, taking gap of one hour in between. Can we do? Uh, uh, before before we're taking or after taking breakfast after taking? after taking breakfast and taking one hour in between the uh, gap not, of one hour no, no one hour is not a sufficient time actually okay. you have to go in for minimum two to three hours you know, depends on the, what you okay. minimum three hours so any solid food you have to, it will definitely mm -hmm. take three hours for you to get digested so it is better to take a liquid rather than uh, going yes. for solids yes. okay. okay 
so uh, after any immediately after taking liquid tea coffee or any liquid source we can go for uh, yes you can just give a gap of 15 20 minutes then you can go with the answer thank you so much okay thank you so much uh, is there any other question or shall we just conclude the session okay so thank you chitra ji thank you thank you thank you thank you achika ji thank you all information uh thank you so much okay. yes if you want a personal consultation you can reach achika ji and she will be got personal and group consultation both thank you bye 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 thank you thank you for joining